I am Nitin and today in this PSLE 2015 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 12. Okay, in my channel, I aim to help you all master all those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions. So let's jump straight into question 12, okay? Question 12. So this question is testing us on the topic of speed. Okay. Okay. So let's read the question first. At 11.50, Kiran started cycling at 25 kilometers per hour from her home to a park 10 kilometers away. So the park is 10 kilometers away. Okay. She was at the park for one hour and 50 minutes. Okay. So, this question has two parts to it. I'll be doing part A right now and part B later on in this video. So, what time did she leave the park? So, this part A is awarding us two marks, okay? So now, since that we have read the question, we should underline and highlight the key information. Okay, so at 11.50, Kiran started cycling at 25 kilometers per hour from her home to a park 10 kilometers away she was at the park for one hours and 50 minutes okay so the question is asking us what time did she leave the park okay so so this is the questions and we have highlighted the keywords okay so let us info what does do they want to ask us? So 11.50, Kiran started cycling 25 kilometers per hour, okay? From the home to the park. So for 10 kilometers, she cycled, okay? So she was at the park for 1 hour and 50 minutes. So when she leave the park, right? After 1 hour 50 minutes, she left the park. So this is what they mean, okay? So when we meet up with speed questions, right, we should always draw the DST triangle. Okay, the DST triangle represents distance, speed, and time over here. So if you want to find distance, we take speed times time. If we want to find time, we take distance over speed. And if you want to find speed, we take distance over time. So this is a small triangle for formula. So even if you know all the formulas, right, just, just draw the DST triangle. It will help you from prevent, preventing from careless mistakes, okay? So we first find the time she took to reach the park from her home. Okay, so 10 kilometers, right? The time, let's, what do we do to find time? We take distance over speed. So the distance is 10 kilometers and the speed is 25 kilometers per hour. So we take 10 divided by 25. Okay, so distance divided by speed. So we take 10 divided by 25, which is equal to 0 0.4 hours or 2 fifth hours. Okay? So now, um, it is also equal to 24 minutes. Now, we need to draw the timeline. Okay, the timeline. What time did she leave the park? So 24 minutes, right? Since this this is in a 24 hour clock manner, we need to use minutes. Okay. So 11:50 to 12:14. So 11:50 we take 24 minutes. She, she traveled to the park. Okay. At 11:50 she was at her home. At 12:14 she was at the park. So from the home she took 24 minutes to travel to the park. So at the park she was there at 12:14. So they are telling us that the question is asking us that the, the question is telling us that the park she was at the park for one hour fifty minutes. So from the park she was one hour fifty minutes. So the time she left the park was twelve fourteen past one hour fifty minutes is equal to two o four. So it's equal to fourteen o four. So this is the answer for part A. Okay, so 11.50 to 12.14, we take 50. So 60 is 1 hour, right? 60 minutes is 1 hour, right? So we plot first at 10. So it's 12 o'clock. Then after that, 
we take the remaining 14 minutes, so it's 12.14. So from 12.14 to 14.04, right, we can break it up by taking one hour first, so 13.14. Then 15 minutes, we can run up to one hour, so we can take it as 14.14. But then we have added 10 minutes, right? So we can just minus the 10 minutes, which will give us 14.04. So that is the answer for part A. So I hope you understand part A. So let's move on to part B, okay? So this is question 12, part B. Okay, so we have read the first part. So let's just read part B now. After leaving the part, Kiran cycled back along the same route and took 40 minutes to reach home. What was her average speed in kilometers per hour for the journey home? Okay, so average speed is something different, right? So you have draw the DST the DST triangle already, right? But then there's no average speed. So average speed is the same as speed, just distance over time. But instead of distance over time, it is equal to total distance over time. It's equal to total distance over total time. This is because of the uh, average speed is in the whole journey, right? It means the whole journey, we take the total distance of the whole journey and the total time of the whole journey. So you just divide them both, we will get the average speed. So 25 kilometers, right? This is the normal speed from her home to the park. But average speed is from the home to the park back to the home. That's the average speed, okay? Okay, so um, let's do the question now. So first, we must take 40 minutes, we must convert it into the hours we must convert it into hours so i convert it into a fraction because um because of the because they are asking us the answer in kilometers per hour right so kilometers per hour we must since it is per hour we must change it into hours okay you understand that okay so now we find the average speed. Since we have the total distance, right? She took 40 minutes. Kiran cycled back the same route and took 40 minutes to reach home. She took 40 minutes to reach home, right? What was the average speed in kilometers per hour? Okay, so now we just take 10 kilometers divide by 2 third hours. Because the park and the home is just 10 kilometers, right? So the journey back is still 10 kilometers. So that is why we take 10 kilometers divided by 2 third hours because we are asking us for the journey home. So it's from the park to the home. So 10 kilometers divided by 2 third hours is 15 kilometers per hour. So this is the answer for part B. So I hope you understand my explanation for question 12. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.